Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Kira and welcome back to this let's play of To The Moon. So, we are now... I can't remember. Uh, but we, I think we're back in his, um, a little way back in his uh, youth uh, now. So, and there is a party that seems to be ending. And let's see if we can find anything. I can't seem to interact with any of the people. An aged imperious book. Can't interact with you. Maybe I have to go. Up here? I think. Always goes towards the arrow. <laughs> so let's go up and see. Well, I think I'm not worried. I'm supposed to go in. Requires two bars of memory link to proceed. Okay, so. But that is John and River, I'm pretty sure of that. So I'm still missing something down here. Can I interact with any of the flowers? No? Hmm. And I can't interact with any of the shadow people either. And there's nothing down there, so there must be something in here. Ah, there's a cliff. <laughs> I was wondering why can I go there? <laughs> so let's see. Can I talk to you? No. It's irritating when you don't know what you have to interact with. I'm just trying to interact with anything, but it doesn't seem to work. Again, flowers. Why are you so big that I can't go over you? Uh, I can't interact with the food eater. I can't go there. Oh, there's a pickles. A glass bottle of pickled olives. I see the fromage, but where's the muse? That's the corniest remake you made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Whoa. Um. Okay, so it looks like it's things of. On the books, yeah, on the book, on the tables, I have to check out. Um, but I can't seem to find anything else. Can I? I'll try again and see if I can go to the um, lighthouse because this seems to get me nowhere down there. Okay, now I can go in. So I just needed two memory flux to do it. Do you feel any different? Now that we got uh, the rings on, I mean. Oh, so they just got married? No. Why? Do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities? Do you like the name Aya? Uh, Anya, sorry. Aya. <laughs> I kind of forgot it later there. Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. 
Anya has a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This can't be a good idea. I'd probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, that's cute. Ow, my ass! <laughs> I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. And a new day is dawning. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And did you take this man standing before you? To a lawfully wedding husband. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and keep in sickness and in health as long as you shall live. Yes. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wales. <laughs> A wedding? The wedding? Uh, yeah. What did you think that was? Um, just bad weddings. That's all. Foods tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fruits I mean both fruits and soils. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come on, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off to, huh? No, I just... I don't like watching people make mistakes. <laughs> Whatever happens to just take it moment by moment. Well, why did I have to go up there and watch some dance? <laughs> oh well, I will not be um, judgmental. I will pass right through people. That was weird. <laughs> So, but I feel I'm going backwards now in time because the party was over when I got here and now it seems to be... Oh! I better go see how your aunt is doing. Alright, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Mark calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about that? Cause I'd rather you call me John. <laughs> that is not a sentimental grandparent children childhood. Don't you have against those anyway? I mean, you should talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No I don't. Whatever you say. Receive no joy. And almost there. I'm so proud of Joy. 
Uh, can't talk to any of these guys. So, what about the old man up here? Is that a possibility? Nope, okay. And I don't think there's anything else down. Oh, I can actually go out. I think I have to do that then. That sounds obvious. Oh. It can't be help, River. I sure it didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all these folded paper ones? What was he obsessed over some roadkill? Not to mention this so many years later. Don't ask me. You are the woman here. I'll be convinced that the only one, <laughs> the only one, where you do a cordless uh, bungee jump. Come on, River. We're late. I don't hope. Oh God! Why is the road kill the thing? That's just wrong. <sighs> Prepare road kill. Okay, let's see. This one seems kind of easy. I like easy. Activate. You know it's a fantastic wedding with the mementos <laughs> with the mementos <laughs> broke kill. Hey Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. Cool story. <laughs> but yeah, it is weird. Also, if. Uh, poor thing. What is all the book kills today? Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And rock kill. Deactivating the sensible later, or get away from here. Or <laughs> get away from here already. Oh, so now I'm playing as him. Uh, I have a feeling that the road is broken there. Other way, it does not. Okay, I I think that is a farm actually. I'm pretty sure that was a horse. <laughs> so oh, I can get it. Whatever, whatever. Oh god, I'm gonna get it right down. Whoa! Don't do it! Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? What is it? Five years old? Okay, I want not to ride it. Yeah! Good resting time, Neo! Oh crap! That can't be good. <laughs> I do something! Don't just stand help me! Damn it! This is not in the job description. Okay, I will see what I can do. Which means I will explore the whole area first. Which means I have a feeling I don't find anything. Um, a horse. Hey, horse. 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 
Hush, hush, hush. Okay. It, it didn't work. So, Neil ran off in this direction. So, let's go see if we can find him. Horsies. No horsey. But really, Neil is an idiot. What, what? So, where are you? I'm coming for you. That sounded weird. Mm, am I supposed to get a horse or something to find him? I can't see anything. And I can't interact with that. Maybe this one. Is it really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she's never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Uh. <laughs> River! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! What have Neil got off that horse is? Yeah! I think that's a rope. This is about 90% more than I can handle. What a moron. Oh, what a combo. Again, you go get the rest of the tooling, the memory links. Ah, goddammit, three. Don't know if I just have to follow her to hit them. Which is actually kind of hard enough. Ah! Tree again! Where did she go? River! Oh, I got the last one there. What was up here actually? I don't think it's a good idea that I'm actually riding on that. Anyways, I got the last thing I needed so. One, at the two, at the three, at the four, at the five. A peppermint toe. So, I am not sure. I have four moves to do this. one of them. Oh yeah. No, no, I I did God dang it, I didn't press that one. It cheated me. Is that diagnosis certain? Yes. 
we reached a consensus on the result. Unfortunately, like many cases of perceptive development, uh, developmental disorders, this is rather late diagnosis. Had you know when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. Atwood. He's the one that specializes in the subject. I got dang it. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Stop it. There we go. <laughs> you can borrow it. Uh, you can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't evolve with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, I have two a couple. Unmarried and without any other current legal effect. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a uh, refuel to a specialized, specialized concealer, if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No? And you, sir? No, I'm fine. Nevertheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called Injury Theory that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. <laughs> okay, so that is the memento. Doc. Excuse me, can you please uh, silence the clock? The thing really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be fine. No problem. It's standard procedure. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh? I get that it's playing the, uh, the ones in the house. Yeah, there was something about the clocks not ticking in the house. But also, I actually understand that because the ticking of a clock actually it irritates me so much too. Anything else in here? Can I go past that? No. Okay, so I think that is actually all there is to it in here. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling you, uh, for you soon. Uh, I already read that. I still need two more mementos though. One, two, three. But I still need one more. <laughs> one more, two more. Is there not anything in here at all? A plain trenchy handbag. Anything I haven't checked. That's a good question. I 
can't seem to find the last thing. Um, I haven't I just talked to that. I can't believe this piece of um, actual city is dated all the way back here. Look at someone took a good. Uh, Look like someone took good care of it. He still got print, uh, pretty bad taste in animals though. Oh, it's the platypus again. I didn't see that at all. Anyways, I have plasma into I needed, so. On roof. So, four moves. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one. No, god dang it! Not what I wanted. Ah, I hate when I press the wrong places. But there we go. It's the second time this gameplay I did, and like this episode I did. Ah, god dang it. Cinema? Why is there clock in the cinema? It's not a cinema. Psst, look! I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap of in theater. Oh, it is a cinema. Or theater is, is it called, but why is there a clock in here? That's weird. No, idiot. Look! We leaped. Holy overcooked macaroni! The kids in the theater all by himself? What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But as I said, how will anyone last through this rubbish? And there he goes. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical level. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, oh right. So, but I actually think I will end the episode here for today. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos, and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell.